Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, food, or at least the preparation of food. When we're hungry, we crave certain flavors. And most of the time those flavors come from a specific type of food that we're craving or the spices or sauces that were used to prepare it. Now, I also believe that flavor can come from the surface that the food was prepared on. And what I'm talking about is that distinct flavor that you get from your grandmother's kitchen or even that distinct uh, sear that you can get from your own outdoor grill. Now I'm going to tell you how to get those same kind of flavors from a cast iron skillet. Now when I talk about seasoning a skillet, I'm not talking about putting a little salt and pepper in it. I'm talking about uh, a thin layer of oil that's bonded to the, uh, to the metal. Now you'll know that a properly seasoned cast iron skillet will provide a fully flavored non-stick cooking surface that will practically last forever. So to do this, we're going to talk about three things. First, we'll talk about how to season a brand new skillet. Then we'll talk about the best types of oil there are to use. And then we'll uh, even go over how to restore old cast iron. So if you have a brand new skillet, it's pretty easy to, uh, to season. Sarah Kate Gillingham on uh, thekitchen.com lists these steps. First, you need to wash it with soapy water and dry it thoroughly. You're going to wipe a very thin layer of oil on it, put it in the oven upside down, and bake it at 325 for an hour. You're going to want to put something underneath it like aluminum foil or a uh, baking dish to catch any drippings. After it gets through baking for an hour, let it sit, cool off in the oven, and then you're, uh, you're ready to use it. Now, Sarah points out in her article that uh, the, the pan will continue to be seasoned over its life as it's used, but this first seasoning will get it uh, going on its uh, on the way. So now we talked about the the process of seasoning. Let's talk about the best oils to use. If you ask that question, you're going to get a whole bunch of different answers, and most of them are just opinion based. For me, I personally use vegetable oil, and I've used olive oil, and I think the olive oil works better. Now, um, Destiny Haggis has an article on MotherEarthNews.com, and she uses baking drippings. She goes on to explain that she cooks bacon every morning in her skillet, and that helps it uh, re-season over and over and over. Now, I think this is a great idea, <laughs> but I very seldomly uh, eat breakfast, so that wouldn't work good for me. Now, I tell you, in my research, I actually found the chemistry behind seasoning. It's actually fat polymerization and you get that from a drying oil. Now Cheryl Cantor has a blog on CherylCantor.com and she went through all of this, uh, all the chemistry to find out what's, what's the actual best oil. And flaxseed oil turns out that it's the only edible drying oil. So she uses flaxseed oil and it produces a very hard nonstick surface. And you can see that's her pan on the right with the flat seat, and the pan on the left is just regular vegetable oil. That's after six rounds of seasoning, though. So if you, if you think about the drying time, it takes a couple hours, excuse me, the cooling time, it takes a couple hours for uh, the pan to cool off in the oven. You're talking about three hours per cycle in six cycles. So that's going to take a little while to get it to that condition. So now let's talk about restoring an old pan. Have you ever seen an old rusty pan at a flea market or a, uh, a yard sale or maybe in your grandpa's barn? Well, I can tell you that as long as it's not pitted, the surface is smooth, it's still good. All you have to do is get all that rust off of it. So my father-in-law, Eddie Black, he does this all the time and he showed me how to do it. And you can use a wire brush or a scouring pad or whatever and you gotta get all the rust off and get all the uh, old seasoning he prefers to put it into straight into a fire, burn it 500, 600 degrees, and burn all of that rust and all the seasoning off the paint. Now, one thing, if you do that, you've got to be careful. Make sure you let it cool slowly by itself. If you try to put water on it or something like that, it'll actually crack the cast iron. But once you get uh, all that burned off and get it down to the bare metal, then all you have to do is wipe it down with your favorite oil and go through that seasoning process that we talked about, and you'll have a brand new paint. I hope you guys 
enjoyed listening to how to season a cast iron skillet. Hope you learned something. We talked about how to season a brand new one. We talked about the best oils to use, and we also talked about uh, restoring some old cast iron. And I just want you guys to remember that if you have a properly seasoned cast iron skillet, that'll provide you with a fully flavored, non-stick cooking surface that'll last for